Stay where you are. Wait, I can I explain. said, don't move. You arrive in good time. We received a report of a disturbance. Yes, a Galahad stormed in here with a filthy band of rebels intent on killing me. It's a lie. Oh, see the result of that little incursion. Sir Galahad's accomplice was a woman. The leader of the rebellion, in fact. She eluded our grasp. Not for long. You will order the company guards to stand down, Lord Hastings. We knights will see to the capture of the rebel leader. Izzy, listen to me. You're making a grave mistake. Sir Percival, take this intruder into custody. I am truly sorry this office must fall upon you, Marquis. No more than I am, monsieur. Get him out of my sight. I thank you, Lady Igraine. Your intervention was truly fortuitous. We are only carrying out our sworn duty, Lord Hastings. They're all the same, my lady. You would do well to keep a close eye on that traitor. You may expect to be summoned before the courts. Your testimony will be required. I am always at the service of Her Majesty's Knights. The prisoner stands accused of the most heinous crimes. Sir Galahad has betrayed our ancient trust. More than this, he has conspired with godless rebels. Adding to his litany of evil, he has presumed to take the life of our esteemed Chamberlain, Lord Hastings. Sir Galahad is a base traitor. A man without honor or scruple. I ask the council to impose...
without giving up the ghost there, can we? Let's see another rat. Him to decide. Two days. It has already been two days. We cannot leave him here like this. I have done what I can. It is not for me to protect him now. I will call upon him if he lives through this ordeal. My friend. My friend. You must stay with us. Sir Galahad! Sir Galahad! Here, Lady Lakshmi. You were right to bring me here, Nicola. There's not much more I can do. All of London is looking for you. So they are. We will take care of him. Time will tell if you will make it through. Do not be a fool, Nicola. I do not have a choice. If I am gone too long, they will suspect something. What if they already know? You have helped enough. Let us handle matters from now on. There is still so much for me to do, Lady Lakshmi. Please, take care of him. I fear that without him, we do not stand a chance. You're not one to give up so easily. Where am I? You're at a safe house on the embankment. You've been in and out of consciousness for almost a fortnight. But come, we must make our way back to Whitechapel. The authorities are searching for you everywhere. How did you find me? You must thank Nicola. He brought you here and sought my help. 
Nicola. How do you know Nicola? I will let him explain his involvement in our affairs. Nicola left you these. He thought you would appreciate them. Come, let's go. Lakshmi, the Blackwater. How did you come about it? It was bestowed on me. You mean to say, a knight? Sabors the Ganes. Sabors has not been seen since the search for the Grail. You say he lives, in East India. I did not say he lived, knight. Company man down! Clear. The more are bound to head this way. Agreed. Stay ready. White Chapel is this way.
Lady Agrain. There is evidence of a few people having been here. Sir Galahad must have had help. Get word to the council that we have tracked the convict. Tell every able knight to converge towards Whitechapel. Yes, my lady. God be my witness. I will see to the end of the rebellion. We need to leave. It is only a matter of time until the authorities raid Whitechapel and make prisoners of every man and woman. Salvage what you can and go. I have unfinished business at the palace. Have you lost your senses? The palace is the last place you should show yourself. I have to get Nicola out of there. I owe him that much. Alistair knows you. He'll expect you to come. I know. Then we will go together. No. This is a fight that I must see through, alone. If I live to see tomorrow, I shall find you. So be it, knight. Do you not know? I am a knight no longer. A knight you are not, monsieur. But are you a turncoat or a patriot? What would you have me be, Marquis? I believe you have reason for what you do. Two revolutions have taught Lafayette that there are dangers on both sides. I will not forget this, Marquis. See that you do not, Monsieur. Should you threaten the cause of liberty, you can count on Lafayette to be your sworn enemy. Adieu, monsieur. Until we meet again. That we will, my friend. Leaving us so soon? So you do remember my name? There is much I should explain to you, and I should have trusted you long ago. There's no time for pleasantries. It seems you are eager to get yourself killed. I must make this right, whatever the cost. Then take this. Oh, and do come back in one piece. It seems my queen is taking a liking to you. Nicola, come in. I'm in the catacombs, on my way to you. Sir Galahad, are you mad? You must not come this way. Stay put. I'll be there shortly.
we investigate. Damn. Sir Galahad, we may have a complication. Sir Lucan is on his way. Nicola, you need to get out of there now. There is nothing to fear, my friend. I will keep communication open on my side. We are right. Nicola, don't be a fool! Nicola!
Sorry, lads. Nicola, what happened? Lady Lakshmi was right. He knew. I'll get you out of here. Come on. He's still in there. Oh, it's too late. There's nothing we can do. There's still something I must do. Turn, brother. Come out of the shadows, damn you!
You and I, we are not that different. I do what I must to protect my kind. We fight only for our right to live. That's a lie! One day, perhaps, you will understand. Forgive me, Grayson. This is not the outcome I sought. Too long to not know this day would come. Why, Alistair? You have forced us outside all these years. I've seen things I am condemned to remember. Civilizations born and destroyed by humanity's incessant greed. 
The pride of men. <coughs> Slaughtering each other in the name of their so-called God. We will atone for our sins in time. But how can you justify the atrocities your kind have committed? <laughs> My kind... <coughs> My kind are no more evil than yours. <coughs> what of your sister? Your father? Was it all a lie? Is he? My father. <coughs> I love them as my own blood. But they cannot begin to know the curse I have lived with. My son. Father. Forgive me. Anna, it is I who needs your forgiveness. I never meant this life for you. You knew. I have always known. I rescued him from the massacre of his family. Your father died by my sword. But a child? You didn't deserve such a fate. How could I have taken the life of an innocent? Confess this to the Council, Lord Chancellor. It is the only way to make amends for the havoc that has been unleashed. I cannot! The revelation would shake our order to its very foundations. So I am to be sacrificed. How many more must die to ensure an eternal silence? He is my son. I cannot be the one to end his life. Isabeau and the Council must never discover the truth, lest all you hold dear perish. Do not ask this of me. Henceforth, you shall have fellowship with no knights. The Order must remain united. You are no longer one of its Heralds, finish what you have begun and vanish! Men were never meant to live this life. There shall come a day when all our burdens will end, brother. <laughs> Maybe then. We shall know true peace.
Sir Galahad, the whole of London is looking for you. We mustn't delay. Sir Galahad, can you hear me? Sir Galahad. Be at ease, Nicola. All is fine. So you say, my friends. The council has declared martial law throughout the city. There is no telling when the authorities will decide to mount an offensive. Now is not the time for heroics. I would advise we follow Lady Lakshmi's lead and leave the city. I'll join you shortly. And don't you know, I'm Galahad, no more. <laughs>